Listen, Guardian. I was thinking hard about how to beat the Conductor, and Osiris stopped me. He said the Conductor is very strong and has abilities we cannot stand against. But, he said, maybe we can beat Maya Sandresh. Osiris told me the story of Maya, how she was lost in the Vex network, split into hundreds of copies, until the powers of the Echo brought her to life. The Conductor is one of those copies. Could be the first one, could be all of them smashed together. Maybe she does not even know herself. But Osiris is all Maya's are scientists. And we can see her thoughts in her experiments. We must find what she is trying to do. Failsafe has located pieces of tech to help you study the exobodies in Maya's laboratory. If we can learn what Maya is doing with those, maybe we can think of a way to stop her. Brains, not brawn, yes? Cerebral host matrix. One of the classic brain models. Could you help me out, Captain? Alright, I'm sure there's a host matrix around here. Ahem. Beep boop, beep boop. Ah, I'm kidding. I'll just mark it for you. I'm way better at finding stuff since he upgraded me. Thanks for that, by the way. Got it. If you're ready, we can head back into the conductor's lab. The exo-frame she's working on down there have got to be key to the golden age she keeps talking about. We just need to uncover their secrets before she kills us all. We must gain access to Sandra's facility once again. With the data Failsafe has collected, we can better determine Sandoresh's use of the exoconsciousnesses within the Vexnet. The Conductor seeks to assimilate all of Sol under her command. She desires a golden age. But what does she really mean? With her methods, uh, I do not assume benevolence. All I know is that it would undo everything we have accomplished since the collapse. We cannot allow this. Your research into the Vex systems bears fruit. Learn what you can. Perhaps something useful may be extracted with further investigation. Maya is diverting radio Larian. 
decided to search the Vex simulation network, peering into other timelines, trying to find our own past. And to that end, raising an army of her own collective to subsume Soul. She can use her Echo to control Vex, but these are under her command completely. She's converting them to serve her. <sighs> Do they even know what they're doing? from Variation Gamma of the Pink Sky World. I'm here with Dot 33 Shim and two Chiomas. Dot 27 and one who isn't sharing a number. If you're looking for a place, we've got one. We'll figure this thing out together. Thunderous's use of Chioma prefigures a dangerous compromise. We knew that she was capable of stepping beyond the bounds of ethics in her experimentation, but now we know the extent. The threat is serious and imminent. Fidelity test. How did I make you cry on our wedding night? Maya? Maya? Where are we? How? We're alive. How did I make you cry on our wedding night? You didn't. I made you cry. Because I called you Sunrise. Surreal Day. Because your mother called you that. Because it reminded you she was gone. That she missed the happiest day of your life. And, and I touched your cheek. And I told you there's always another sunrise, even after we see it set. The galaxy exomite. Sentimentality is higher than expected rates. Sunderesh is bringing copies of her wife, Chioma Essi, out of the Vexnet. Finding them, interrogating them, and Discarding them. For her golden age? No. No, perhaps... What would be her own... Personal golden age? The wife she remembers. The one from her own... Simulation. And Maya will destroy Soul to find her. I have decrypted the data contained in the signal. 227.97. To all teams, I've crunched the numbers. We're losing Essie's at rates even higher than Maya's during the Sunderesh incident. Stay inside of your team at all times, Geomas. Don't get separated. Osiris. I heard what the Guardian found. How could Maya do such a thing to Chioma, to the woman she loved? Sandoresh convinced herself that she could never have loved this Chioma at all. Not this one, and not the other. Chioma loved Maya. We heard it. I am sorry for doubting. Doctor, for even one moment. I am so sorry, Osiris, for doing that to you. Now, Saint, don't apologize to you. You were forgiven from the first. Guardian, I can now confirm. Every exoframe in Maya's lab once held the consciousness of Maya's wife, Chioma Essie. Each a 
a different version pulled from the VEX network. Uploaded, judged, found wanting, and eliminated. Guardian, there are details about Maya Sandres I kept from Saint. He did not need to know the cruelty of the hands that touched his mind, or how much they reminded me of my own. But today, I saw a reflection of myself had I lost my way. If I never found Saint and instead wrapped myself in obsession, I thought myself heroic in my search, a romantic, and that I was justified by my success. But what if I had not realized my good fortune? If I had met Saint, not with relief, but with skepticism, to imagine myself finding Saint, deciding he is wrong, killing him, and then starting again, it would have broken me, and I believe it has broken Maya. One capable of such horror has defiled the concept of love. Do not forget what you're dealing with.